might be able to see that stamp on there. Uh, 250 watts. Yeah, the arc tube is rather large, I have to confess. It's enormous. It's like almost the size of the bloody lamp itself. Should we power it up? Go on. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is where it says 250 watts on the other side at 240, 250 volts. And there's the uh, little resistor, which in reality is just a little bit of carbon by the looks of it. It just looks like a graphite rod that goes to the auxiliary starting electrode in there, which you can't see because my lighting is shit. But that's my fault, so oh well. Let's power it up. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. I'm running it on electronic gear because I've only got a 250 watt, 400, 600 or 660 watt adjustable ballast. Um, it's quite helpful actually. But yeah, this is it warming up. It's quite nice. That is a very low pressure discharge. That looks like a fluorescent tube almost. <coughs> Now, I'll be honest, as much as I love this, it is an awesome thing to have, and I do much appreciate the technology behind it. I also absolutely hate the light from this. I think it's just too cool and just horrible looking, to be perfectly honest. I've never really liked mercury discharge lighting. I think it's a bit ghostly and just, yeah. I like my lights to be a nice warm colour temperature, but that's what happens. We're getting some strange effects at the moment. It's sort of flish flishing. <laughs> flishing, it's flickering a little bit, or like flashing. Mm. These are designed for burning vertical, obviously. Oh, there we go, look. Oh, fuck, now it's going all over the place. There we go, that's a bit better. Oh. The ballast's making some sounds. Ballast's making some very weird noises. Right, there we go, that's a bit better. Whoa. Okay, now that's very cool. As far as I'm aware, this thing has never been run. Um, this is the first time running it. Well, actually, it's the second time, because I did when I got it, um, briefly. But, this was kindly given to me by another collector, so that is most appreciated. You know who you are. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not as uh, tight of an arc as a high pressure mercury lamp. But my god, the light from that is quite bright. Um, but it is also an absolutely horrible colour. It's making everything look green and washed out and horrible looking. <laughs> It's not even nice and UV or whatever, it's, it's just strange. But it is still a very cool old lamp, which I like. <clears throat> Here's the ballast. Hmm, should we see what happens? Hmm, I better not do that. Let's leave it. <laughs> we don't want to pop this one. This one's a nice one. It's worth a bit as well, as far as I'm aware. Hmm. Quite a nice lamp. Yeah, making all sorts of noises as it expands, um, with like the thermal expansion and whatnot. So I think we don't want to push this too much, do we? So maybe we should switch the thing off and watch it glow. Shall we do it? It's pulling 279 watts at the moment, so it's still not quite all the way up to temperature. It's bloody warm though. Hell. We'll leave it a little bit longer, making all sorts of sounds. Right, and now let's switch it off. Where did it glow? God, it's making all kinds of noise. Oh, noises. Ignore that, that was just me getting up off the floor. <laughs> mm. Lovely old light. Mm. 
a little bit of mercury condensing on it now in there but it didn't blow up I'm never gonna run that again now that's the last time it's being run hmm. God, I can feel the heat off of it from here that's ridiculous anyway yeah I have a nice MAV now V meaning vertical cap down or up doesn't matter mm, look at that fucking enormous thing behind there that thing's silly I need to find somewhere for that really I can't just have it at the end of the bed can I <laughs> <laughs>